Hello, this is not, not a spring chicken. This is Adventures in Crowdfunding Day 4. Now, here's one of those things. Is, boy, can you believe this is Day 4? And I will tell you, <laughs> I feel like we've been on our freaking roller coaster. So, here's one of the things. First of all, if you're curious, if this is the first time you're watching it, you're going, what in the world? Crowdfunding. Um, crowdfunding is a means for people to fundraise for their projects. We are utilizing it for Cooking with Nada Spring Chick goes live on the road to go ahead and acquire some new equipment and to help pay for expenses because before we do it, we need to get funded so that we can, you know, then turn it into revenue producing content. But you have to expend it first. Um, so one of the things is this is our day four. So we've been going through day one, two, three. We, we set up the campaign. Um, we sent it out to friends. We went through our social media contacts, um, you know, like Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest. We pulled the favors, you know, from friends that had large groups. Can you go ahead and tweet about it? Can you like this? Can you post it on your wall? Um, you know, all of those things that they say that you're supposed to do, they say that 30% of your funds are supposed to come in, what is it, the first couple of days? Yeah. Yep. Um, and let's see. And then. Of that 30% of all your entire funds come in from your family and friends. Yes. So crowdfunding has been one of the new things that's going on as far as raising money. This is something that we're expecting for more regulations from Congress. But see, here's one of the things that we did not expect. Because, see, we thought we had, I mean, there's people that have huge databases like uh, a band, you know what I mean? A band that's going on tour, um, somebody that's got a film that has 50 people involved or, you know, 20 people involved and they all, got, you know, reach their, you know, it's like you have 20 people involved in a project and those 20 people reach out to all their family and friends, right, and they're all trying to help. You're thinking, okay, we don't have that large, but we do have friends that have large social groups, so we're trying to assist. Um, so we thought, you know, we're media, we can, we can do research, we can be smart about this. Does it work or does it not? So we, we tried those different angles. One of the things that we did not expect was damage. You're going, what? Well, one of the things that we discovered was that for crowdfunding to work, you needed to contact people multiple times. Like, you know, isn't that called spamming? Right, that you have to tell them, you have to give them the links. Oh, and I, I'm sitting there thinking about it. Well, you know, if you've got your Twitter links or your Facebook links, um, and you talk about it, then you know, you, they just you make it easy for them so they can click on the link, right? Well, we have the possibility. Well, part of it is we've got multiple websites. One of them is a fan website um, for one of our, for one of ours. And what we did not expect was a decline in audience. You're going, what? Yeah. We started adding that campaign to that fan website. Plus, we still did our other content too, right? Yeah, but they're not paying attention to the other content. They're just grumping about, mm -hmm. and it's not, basically it's not spamming. We're just putting up about how the things are going. Mm -hmm. And that is not something that they were very Apparently, happy about. Apparently, they, I know, and see now, here's part of it, is you're going, what? Because I always figured, well, if you don't watch it, just turn off the channel. I guess they're turning off our website and not going yeah. to it. You know, I, or I thought, just ignore that part of the content. Because I've had friends that have done campaigns, and I'm like, oh, they're trying to do this. And it's like, well, I didn't have anybody to help them, or, you know, I didn't want to, or, you know, whatever reason. I'm like, so I just like, oh, that's nice. And give them the big thumbs up, great, you know, encouragement. And just kind of, you know, did it that way, right? Well, what we didn't count on was, are you ready for this? A 90% drop off in, in three, three days. days. Yeah. Three days. 90% drop off in three days. Now, of course, the first day it happens, you're going, hmm, well, maybe we're having an off day. Yeah. Right? The second day, you're going, did I? What, what happened? Was this, right? The third day it happens, you realize, uh oh. Fourth day was an ungodly disaster. What? What? This way. what uh, happened? What did we do? Six people showed up today, and two of them complained about the crowdfunding. 
Mm-hmm. You know, and it wasn't predominant. It was just an art. It was just a thing of a vlog about what's being done, and they were really unhappy mm-hmm. about it. Mm-hmm. So, see, part of it is sometimes you get some side effects that you were not expecting. Now, <laughs> I mean, it's called an unexpected, it, un- unexpected, un- unintended, con- unintended, unintended consequence. consequence. That's the words. Yeah. yeah. So we've been trying to go across the board, but here's one of the things that we do know is it's time to retool again. So this is day four, and how many times have we retooled? This is our third retooling <laughs> in four days. Because oh, we, boy. It, when, that, um, we found, I mean, it's not good to be at 6 o'clock in the morning to find you've only got six people that came to your site, mm-hmm. and two of them were unhappy. Yes. So part of it is we are totally retooling, coming up with new ideas. I mean, we're scratching our head because is crowdfunding really an option? And who is it an option for? So for now, this is not a spring chicken. Boy, crowdfunding is an adventure.